Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm Gloria at Fresh for Night Andover, and today I was like, cool, let's film something today. And I was wondering what to write, what to film, sorry. And then I saw on YouTube that there were videos like this, like the you know, essays that got me to Harvard, Yale, Princeton, all those. Um, and I was like, cool, let's do this for me. So here we are. Um, so obviously we had a word limit and it was 500 words. And I think I wrote 500 words because I'm not the type of person to write under the limit. Because I oftentimes I write so much and I never get to the point and it's always gibberish and it's terrible. I hate cutting down essays because I never know what to delete. It's sad, but it is what it is. So let's get on with the actual video. So my prompt was, describe a time when you overcame the fear of failure. Did you succeed, fail, or something in between? What did you learn from that experience? Here's my essay. Award-winning actor Jack Lemmon once said, Failure seldom stops you. What stops you is the fear of failure. Although it may not seem so, when the smallest things backfire the largest impact, the fear of failure emerges. This happened to me when I brought my own lunch to school with flavors that were not largely accepted in our community. I feared that I would fail to compromise with society and what the majority of people were accustomed to. Because of my ethnic culture, shrimp, fish, and other indigenous dishes were the foods I would often bring. My lunch would be put into containers and into insulated boxes to be eaten later. This box would be kept in my locker and would not be touched for four hours. When it came to noon, I would sit with my friends and open the insulated box. The foods that had been covered with no air would emit a strong odor, but it would not disgust me. For me, I smelled home. However, I would soon notice the smiles of my friends slowly fade, and what had been their smiles were now replaced by frowns of antipathy. Usually, this was my indicator that they did not like what I was about to open. With no words, they would tilt their heads sideways and point their noses to a corner of the hall. These manners were their way of telling me that the smell had subjugated their appetite. With no further ado, I would move to that corner. This is what it was like most days. I understood them. I did not blame them for excluding me. It is a natural tendency for a human being to reject what is alien, and this tendency cannot be helped. But... I soon realized that the pain I felt every day greatly exceeded my sympathy. This aroused an internal conflict between whether I was to present the superficial Gloria, a person who acquiesces with whatever is given, or whether I was to continue seating in the corner presenting my true self. This choice, that was as unsubstantial as a speck of dust, had the ability to manifest whether I had social grace or correct self-identity. I had always lacked social grace, so if I chose to close the container, that need would be fulfilled. However, if I complied, it would mean denying and incorrectly identifying oneself. Sometimes, that need to be accepted by others forced me to compromise myself. Other times, I would stand my ground and continue eating like normal, knowing that I had chosen self-happiness over friendship and company. It felt like conquering yourself in human inclinations, but also yielding to human love and amity. I never fully succeeded in overcoming this fear, but I did not adhere to failure entirely either. I believe in cultural differences, and in one day, when a newcomer with unfamiliar foods walks up to me, I will be able to acknowledge them much easier than it was like to accept me. So as you can see, um, I tried to write something that was not like physically failure, and not physically physical failure, and then literal success, or failure, and then failure. Um, I wanted to write something that was like emotional conflict and emotional failure, um, so I wasn't very sure whether I actually succeeded, and that's what I wrote down here, so I never fully succeeded in overcoming this fear, but I did not adhere to failure in entirely either, and I think this was one of the essays that made me learn who I actually was and know that I am a very hesitant person. I, It's hard for me to make choices, and um, I was happy with this essay. Um, this was one of the essays that I wrote, that I wrote first draft and submitted first draft, but in no way am I trying to say that this is how you're supposed to write it. Um, this is literally something that I wrote that I'm happy with and something I would like to share for you guys. Maybe, hopefully, it will inspire you for those of you who are writing your essays right now. Um, if you're losing some inspiration, maybe this inspired you or maybe this ignited the flame in you that has always been there. Um, and I know that you guys can do it. And if you're writing your essay, good luck. Um, and if you want something else, obviously comment down below. Um, if you want, like, my stats or anything, or I don't know, I'm just like ranting now but if you want anything or questions please put them in the comment section down below and hopefully this helped you and i will see you next time bye